If I smile, if I laugh, if I cry, it's definitely a recommendation. I want to see a sense of humor from an author. I want to be able to relate to either the author or the main character. It has to be funny and full of compassion and life and energy and kind of a page turner. Really interesting, complicated characters and beautiful language. There has to be something strange about it. There was a book called Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, and it was both very, very frightening and very moving. The series Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators, it was about these like three maybe junior high school kids that solved mysteries, and their clubhouse was in an RV in a junkyard. I just thought that was the coolest thing. I was in love with the Modesty Blaze <laughs> crime novels that were like spy thrillers. When I was a teenager, I really loved Bright Lights, Big City. I don't know, it just was, there's something about living in New York City and the energy behind it, and it was fun and experimental. A snowy day. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. I'll never forget that book. Primarily fiction, although nonfiction too. I'll, everywhere, you'll find me everywhere. I'll be everywhere. I move all around in bookstores, but I probably start with the poetry first. I love to cook. My day job is politics on the radio, and it's a great way to connect to people about something other than what I have to talk about for a living, particularly people who may not see eye to eye with me in my day job. We can at least break bread together. You'll probably find me in the coffee section, reading whatever I pulled off on the shelf, but I always put it back. Booksellers.